Hi, welcome to the part three of this video series. We are looking at some of the real certification questions. Today we will look at questions linked with these three topics. Please hit the subscribe button for YouTubers. Subscription matters a lot. Hit the like button if you like my videos and if you think this content is useful. For previous questions, please refer parts one and two of this video series or playlist. Now let's jump into the question. So basically this is the flow that the question is talking about. There is some sort of a IoT device. The data comes in the real time basis and it comes it comes here after that it goes to s3 the data is stored there and from there athena will fire queries and it will extract the data so what is the problem the problem is query performance where here here okay because athena is firing queries here okay so the problem is here so we will give the solution where here to solve this problem right we will not give solutions for here or here we will give it for here the first one says merge the files into s3 to form large files perfect so this is providing a solution here this part see if there are a lot of small small files in s3 you know from a best practice perspective it is not good so what should you do you should replace small files with small number of large files small number of large files so i have condensed all these files so these are like 12 files into large files this is always good from the best practice perspective this is my right answer so A is my answer, but let's look at B, C and D. B says increase the number of shards in data streams. So they will increase the shards here, but is, is that the problem? No, our problem is here. The question is not talking about any problems here. So why do we choose this answer? So B is wrong. Again, C is saying you add more memory and CPU to the streaming application. That means somewhere here and here. Why will we do that boss? We have a problem here, here, here. So C is wrong as well and D says write files to multiple S3 buckets like this. Earlier we were writing to one S3 bucket. Now it is saying to write to multiple S3 buckets so that Athena can read multiple S3 buckets. That is not that is that is not going to solve your query performance issues. So this solution will not work as per best practice. So this is my final answer. Let us look at next question. See there is a retail company like Walmart and what is happening? They have a Redshift cluster and lots of files and these are getting loaded in redshift how to load anything in redshift copy command copy command copy command so what is the need they want to achieve best possible throughput that means high throughput and what else and they want to optimize the use of clusters redshift clusters okay and these files where are they getting loaded here this is the fact table this is where it is getting loaded we already know this is a question about copy command where do we see copy commands i see it here i see it here too so i will just remove these two options there is nothing called load commands there is copy command load command i have never heard of there is nothing called load command so this is wrong and b see boss you want a simple solution okay now why see if you want to go from delhi to agra why will you go to bombay and from bombay to agra this is option b is similar to that they are using hdfs they are using hdfs connectors then they will ingest the data to redshift cluster it will be very expensive and it will not be the shortest route now out of a and d which one is correct use multiple copy commands to load the data in redshift clusters or use single copy command what does best practice suggest this is what best practice suggest use single copy command why why because it creates parallelism if you fire multiple copy command it will run in sequence you see this it will run in a serialized load you will not get performance uh, benefits second is after each load it will run a vacuum process which makes it slower okay that's why single copy command is better use a manifest file to put all the data source file paths and fire that in a single copy command so this is my final answer now let us look at the next question see this is the next question it is also a long question but a simple question okay and i will explain why it is simple usually we see long questions and we kind of get nervous this is what happened to me also it is not about only nervousness i get bored if i see the long question because i'll have to read it decode it in my mind draw a diagram and then understand the question i am doing it for you don't worry you have you have an application and it's kind of a microservice based application it writes the data to dynamo db here and it encrypts when it is writing before that it encrypts it okay after that this has to go into the redshift database which will be only accessible to the finance teams keyword finance teams okay and one more keyword other analysts from other business divisions also share the redshift cluster but they should not be able to see the finance data right that is how we work right there might be one database one data warehouse solution but it 
the finance team will have access to their own data sales will have access to their own data and it will have access to their own data hr will have access to their own data now let us see what options will work perfectly a a tells you that the, the problem i'll tell you with a you can pause this video read a properly and i'll tell you the problem the problem is it is decrypting the sensitive data using the kms key and it is straight away storing it in s3 bucket live so that anybody can see the data which is very wrong man you have the data for only finance team now anybody can see it second thing is you you have just decrypted and kept it on a s3 bucket then you are telling finance team redshift accessible now anybody can with live eyes can see it right so this option is wrong this is you are compromising the security now let us look at b b says okay they will use lambda function to process stream save they will save the output to a restricted s3 bucket that is, that is good okay they are not saving it to public s3 bucket they are saving it to restricted this is the keyword restricted perfect now they have mind you they have still not decrypted it now they are creating a finance table in redshift accessible to finance team only perfect this is what we want because it should be accessible by the finance team only and then you are firing a copy command with the iam role you know any tom dick and harry cannot see the data just like in option a s3 bucket even if it was restricted but it is kept in a uh, form which anybody can view it so right now copy command will use a iam role which has special access to the kms key only through that copy command that decryption can happen and the data will be loaded from s3 to the finance table which only finance team has access so there is no data compromise no security compromise b is right okay now c c talks about see i have a problem with c and d both both are using emr clusters so you have to move the data from this point a to point b but what they are doing they are putting a emr cluster in between emr is a very expensive solution second they are using a default rule whenever you are dealing with a data where encryption decryption is required do not deal with a default rule have specific iam roles defined so that's why this is wrong and d d it is see the problem with d is also it is using a emr cluster where we do not need it it will increase the cost unnecessarily and it is not adding any value from a security standpoint okay so d is wrong this is my final answer we will lock this this brings us to the end of this part we looked at questions linked with these three topics please hit the subscribe button subscriptions helps me a lot you know youtubers all youtubers ask for subscriptions it takes a lot of effort to put in these contents please hit the like button if you like these contents see you in the next part till then ciao